Hi students, we have got a very interesting question here. N A of a line is on HP. This is the abstract of the question. The question is given in the description. N A is on HP. The projectors through the traces are 100 mm apart. Projectors through the traces. Projectors through the traces. Those projectors cut X, Y, T, V and H. So V and H are 100 mm apart. The projectors of the ends of the line, A, B, A and B, the projectors of A and B are 50, 55 mm apart. HT is 50 mm in front of VP and VT is 110 mm above HP. Agreed? Let's draw. XY. And locate V 100 mm apart H and draw the projectors of V and H. Vt on V, Vt is on the vertical line through V, you know, that is Vt. I will reduce the length to make this proportional. This is 110, this is 50, uh, 50, 50. This is 100. So we locate V and H 100 mm apart on the project on the draw a projector through V and draw a projector through H. On the projector through V locate VT 110 mm above. On the projector through H uh, locate HT 50 mm below. 50 mm below because HT is 50 mm in front. 110 mm above because VT is 110 mm above. H. Now you know that VT and H can be connected and V and the HT can be connected. Agreed? Okay. What does this contain? And what does this contain? The line connecting VT to HT contains what? Elevation. Elevation. And this line, line connecting small v and HT, small v and HT contains plan. Your ID, your duty is to find out where they are. Now, what are available? This is used, this is used, this is used, this is used. The other information available is A is on HP. What does it mean? What does it mean if A is on HP? What does it mean if A is on HP? It means that means that a dash is on x y. A dash is on x y, isn't it? If a is on x p, its elevation is on x y. Somewhere on this line is the elevation, and this line meet x y at only one point. Where is it? It is here. So what is this? This is a dash. Agreed? If that is A dash, where is the projector of B dash? Or what is this? This is A. If this is A dash and A, 50 mm away or 55 mm away, draw a projector. This is B and this is B dash. Fifty five mm apart. I will mark the dimension correctly everywhere. What is this? This is the final elevation and this is the final plan. I will mark the dimensions everywhere correctly. Fifty five. One point zero.
100 A dash B dash is the equation, A B is the plan. A dash B dash is the equation, A B is the plan. You are asked to find out what true length, theta and phi. True length, theta and phi. You can draw a trapezoidal construction on the top, you will get H B T and phi. You can draw a trapezoidal construction on the plan, you will get H T and theta. H T is already available. You will get theta. Or, or, I will do that. We'll make the plan parallel to xy. This is b1. This is b1 dash. This is true line. This is theta. I have made the plan parallel to xy. I have made the plan parallel to xy. Projected to the locus of b dash. I get b1 dash and that is true length and this is theta. Similarly, I have to make the elevation parallel to xy. How to make the elevation parallel to xy? This drawing is going to be given to mix up. Okay. I will make the elevation parallel to xy, I will use black. This is the elevation, a dash, b dash. b2 dash. b2. True length and five. I will advise you to go for trapezoidal construction on the plan and elevation. If I go for the trapezoidal construction, this distance is very high now. So this large distances will make it outside. That's why I preferred uh, what you call as uh, line protection method. You can draw trapezoidal construction to find those values. So do not theta and phi are okay. Very good question. An above average student will not do this. An excellent student will do this. If you have got any, any, any doubt, you can give me in the comment box or you can, if you want, you can call me directly. My number 9446060906. If you have got any doubt regarding this problem, you can call me or give in the comment box. Agree? Thank you.